That's interesting. He's taken over manuals sooner than we thought he would. Doesn't Not trust the computer. <laughs> They'll be measuring these in nautical miles, will they not? 112? Yes. So it's a little bit further than that, say 130, 140 miles out. Roll reversal complete. Control looks good. Well, maybe we see roll reversal complete. Control looks good. Well, this is a surprise. The uh, first sight we thought we'd get was at Edwards overhead. Well, she'll pass at uh, 54,000 feet if she's on uh, the right trajectory. Still travelling at the speed of sound before she makes a final uh, descent from the east. That sounds as if... That role reversal is good that it happened well because it's, it's the first time it's been tried out that high, that fast, of course. And they can eject, of course, from now. They're low enough to eject if they had a problem. They don't have a problem. R roll reversal is what? Going from uh, banking one way right through vertical banking to the other way. So Columbia pr proving what a manoeuvrable craft she is in space and in the atmosphere. They're measuring the aerodynamics, of course, inside, and they've also been observing by a big uh, infrared telescope from an aircraft outside, so they're now right. well-equipped with data. She swings round high over the Central Valley, California. She'd have crossed the coastal Sierras now, okay, well over dry land. That's a silent spacecraft, no engines, just a rush of air. No one has ever seen a glider like that before. <laughs> Well, the weather this California morning must be particularly good. Those are pictures uh, no one in this end thought we'd see. Range 42 miles. Columbia, we show you very slightly high in altitude, coming down so nicely. And the slightly high, but uh, dropping certainly towards the runway. Desperately trying to lose speed, I imagine. Uh, Jeffrey, we were talking about roll reversal a minute or two ago. Will she still be trying to bank? Yes, one of the techniques of a glider when you have no engines is to uh, widen your track, and that means banking quite a bit to port and then back to starboard, and that's how you can vary the distance. Of course, she may not have engines. She does have speed brakes on board. Yes, the fin at the, bow, uh, at the back does, in fact, split at the back side on the rudder, and uh, it becomes an air brake as well as a rudder. Yes, it's low for spacecraft, but uh, it's about Concorde cruising height. The pictures we hear coming from Dryden. Range 28 miles. This is 20 degrees flat path. That's uh, about seven times the descent rate of a civil airliner. Just under 30 miles to touchdown. No sign of any problem. Everything looking good. Even less. Well, you're approaching the hack now. Right on the money. Oh, well, things sound remarkably calm, but one can't help feeling that NASA is uh, human and there are men in there sensing they're only minutes away from a major space success. Well, from here in Britain, the pictures look stunning. I wonder how they look from uh, Dryden itself, where Kieran Prenderville hopefully is waiting 
to tell us how things are looking in California. How does it look, Kieran? A little, yes. Well, there must be about 100,000 people out here all anxiously scanning the skies looking for Columbia. We've just heard a sonic boom. We expect to hear another one yet. Well, Columbia's performing well, but Kieran isn't, or at least the links between us are not performing. Trying to reach Kieran Prenderville. Manual control still by command the That's one of the cha chase aircraft with cameras. They have several aircraft up just to uh, look out, and of course that's now looking at an uh, incredible shot of the shuttle. So she's made a, the sweep from uh, east of the airfield and is now making her approach uh, presumably in a westerly direction, Jeffrey. 15 to 20,000 feet coming in from the west. Coming down quite steeply. We don't, know, we don't have... Notice the very, very nose-down attitude. Chase aircraft underneath. So, by our estimation, we're two minutes from touchdown. Things have uh, been on schedule, or just. She approaches Dryden. At this time, it's likely that Young and Crippen will be aiming short of the runway to actually increase speed to give them control in the final stages. They do want to have plenty of lift. And don't forget, they only have one chance at this. They raise the nose too early, they'll stall and fall short. If they raise it too late, They've missed anyway. 20 degrees, nose down. Then they'll pick it up to about three and a half degrees. Okay. 2,500 feet, clear. On the final approach. Up to three and a half. Well, there it is, they've got five miles right way ahead of them. Touchdown, the crew below the landing gear. Very They're coming. They're down. 50 feet. 40. 30. 20. 10. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Touchdown. Here, Five, four, three, touchdown. Look checked his watch. Was she on schedule? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what an amazing picture. Ah, oh, that's terrific. Columbia. Beautiful, beautiful. Can't see any tiles, Mr. Oh, she seems rem in remarkable shape. Rolling gently. You don't have to take it up the hangar, Joe. The return of man's first reusable spacecraft. And the crew applied the brakes. That's one thing that the computer doesn't do. I'll tell you that. It So she's stationary. Oh, that's so the air brake just closing at the back. The fin closing the air brake. The big V at the back. Right. 